Hi everyone, I hope all of you guys are doing well. So today we are going to discuss a very important question from UPSC perspective and these kind of questions are becoming more and more common in UPSC. So this question is why is India taking keen interest in the Arctic region? This is a 2018 paper question asked uh, for 10 marks in GS1. Okay. And you require to write it within 150 words. Now, why this question is important and why these kind of questions are becoming more and more important. That is because this question is not just a geography question, even though it is asked in GS1. It is a question that covers a gamut of topics or a gamut of subjects that you should know, which is geography, of course, first of all. Then after that, you also need to understand something about international relations. You need to understand something about resources, economic resources and how they affect overall strategy of India when it comes to the Arctic region and other such things. So clearly, since it is encompassing these various topics, you have to be able to write a holistic answer that covers these different dimensions. If you write it only from the perspective of geography, thinking this is a GS1 question, then you are not going to get even sufficient content or even sufficient marks eventually. All right. So that being said, now let's go ahead and jump into this question. Whenever a question like this comes, first of all, I will write a simple one liner about the main thing, the main key topic, which is keyword is Arctic region. I will define it and then I will go ahead and answer the question. So I will start the timer here. Remember, I told you already in one of my classes how to do time management. You can watch that session also in which I told you that for 150 words and 10 markers, you get around six to seven minutes. So you have to try to stick to that word limit also. All right. So first of all, I'm going to define it. So you can go ahead also start writing if you want to practice with me. The Arctic is a polar region. located at the northernmost part of earth it encompasses countries such as Canada, Denmark, Norway, Russia, etc. It also has considerable influence on Earth's environment and ecosystems. Okay, so I'm also telling the importance so that before I delve into the actual question, people know it, the person who's reading it knows it. So it's a very short introduction, little bit longer than I like, but I think I wanted to write this much and then I will go ahead and write a bit jump into the why is India keenly interested in Arctic. See now I'll box it. Remember to box something you want to draw the attention of the reader to so that he or she can straight away go to that point also. So number one is vast oil and gas reserves Arctic is home to a large amount of natural resources and minerals 
which are key to India's economic and strategic interests. Now I will see, now I have told why India is interested, but I have also go a little bit beyond to show my knowledge of this topic, which I must have studied, right? So India's ONGC, Videsh ONGC, sorry, ONGC Videsh has collaborated with Russia for oil and gas exploration in Arctic. Okay, so you can underline this also so that the oh, it got cut, but you can underline it like this so that the reader actually gets directed to this particular point. All right, now second point. strategic sea routes northern sea route in arctic ocean is strategically crucial for india's connectivity to Europe and North America all right so one is a reason for resources that are important over there the other one is that the sea routes that are there in this region are going to be eventually important with climate change melting of ice caps these may emerge as key trade routes okay now the next one is going to be about climate change obviously because that is one of the most important points that you would like to highlight in this particular answer that we are writing we will go ahead and write that can study impact of climate change in arctic ocean in arctic region and its effects on monsoon and Indian climate. Okay. Now here also you can give an example because India has set up something to study that. Right. So India has set up Himadri to study space weather in Himadri station Arctic all right so like this we have written now three points these three points are important but apart from that are there any other points that are coming to our mind well apart from that you can also write something maybe about governance you can write about international cooperation but since my time limit has already finished because I was also talking and writing slowly I don't think more points will be required but you can write one or two more points about governance and partnerships with other countries and uh, you know our friendship and our strategic interest with other countries in terms of this particular region okay and then you have to write a conclusion conclusion can be very short that it can be seen from above above analysis that 
Arctic region is emerging as one of the key areas for major economies of the world hence India will keenly maintain its interests here all right very simple short introduction but what matters is actually the real content which you are writing here in the body because that's what the question is asking why india is so keenly interested in this particular region and that is what you have to provide answers for hey guys so i also wanted to add another thing to this particular answer uh, so that you know about it which is diagram in this particular answer question lot of aspirants will be tempted to make some sort of a diagram or some sort of a map of the arctic region showing various things there you can but i don't think you need it because this is not a purely a geographical question this is more of a strategic question it deals with economy it deals with the resources so that's why you can just write good content and you will still get very good marks if you decide to draw a map uh, it should show presence of some oil reserves that have been found it should also show some trade routes that are going through that area and that will be a little bit difficult because i particularly for example even i am not that aware of this particular region in so much detail i just know roughly that yes oil and gas reserves are there and what is the strategic importance so keep that in mind when you are writing these kind of questions just to make sure that you don't waste your time and you put the right amount of time and content in the answer how would i grade this answer i would not say this is like a perfect answer i would not say this is a bad answer this is an above average answer so this might fetch you out of 10 marks it might fetch you might 5 marks or you know 4 and 1/2 6 marks depending on the examiner also but that's what you need to do you can't waste all your time in one answer only try to understand that you have to write another 19 questions in the same paper and that's why you should be putting your energy in a kind of a smart way you should be investing your energy in these kind of questions all right so we have discovered various reasons like natural resources strategic sea routes climate change and apart from that I, like i told you uh, strategic sea routes and you can also write transportation okay transportation and connectivity uh, then uh, governance there are other reasons for governance and international cooperation uh, so one or two more reason, re reasons can be potentially included in this particular question all right so let me know if you guys enjoyed this answer writing session i will be doing a lot more of these because i think these are very effective and you can learn a lot from them um take care have a good day and go ahead and write in your in the comments some answers to this particular question i can check them or you can write in your notebook in your uh, paper sheet and practice yourself um just in your free time all right so take care bye bye